We're doing the second thing, and uh, it is very, very similar, but this time the person who, um, who does the counter, so who do does the downward strike, uh, does it not that powerfully, but a bit more in the forward direction, thus more threatening for me, because there is a blade coming my way, which is not going entirely down. So the differences are minute, you might take either technique. This one works only under the requested circumstances and, uh, well, we, we shall demonstrate it in order for you to see it. Yes. Okay. And now, I stay in the bind, on the sword, and just strike around the sword towards his side. Again, a very powerful situation which doesn't require much strength to bear him down. Now. Did you get that? We can do it slowly. Slow motion. Beginning with quite level, but I want to emphasize that you be precise whatever you do. And now, um, see uh, the blades con make contact almost at the turning point. It doesn't it strike me down here, but it is more in the strings. And this I can use to my advantage by circling my sword around and hit him here. So if he has come to me and the sword is more at the strength and at the strong, I might use that against him. By just again circling my sword around that pivot point. Did you get that? From the other side, possibly. Good yes, idea. Take a step here because then, if you did, if you if you stood here, there would be a misting by stepping around him. You uh, have uh, the most powerful position of air at all, and you can. Um, come on. Yeah. Now again, exactly. And you can by just using this as a lever, bear him down. You couldn't do that. That's why again. Okay. Here we go. I couldn't do that if you stood here. It would be a danger, and I, I'm not as strong here. But with a slight step here, I have everything you need. Slowly again. Why counterwise? Oh my god. I want to yes. touch you. Very nice indeed.